All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. This was filmed on Friday, September 20th. As you can see, there are lockers at front gate now. And for those of you that remember previous seasons of Halloween Haunt, you might know why those lockers are being added to the front gate area. I think that's actually such a smart move for the park to do. So as you can see here, Wonderland has added lockers. These will be used because if you remember, Halloween Haunt has a no bag policy. So with the no bag slash, sorry, no large bag policy, they have implemented these lockers. So instead of people throwing their bags into trees and hoping no one steals them or into bushes, they can now come over here and rent a locker. It's a win-win. Now, I will say my one complaint about this is there are hardly any lockers. Those will get used up in the first 10 minutes. Heading on over to Alpen Fury's construction. As you can see, nothing has really progressed here. Um, there was some slight tree removal in between those two buildings there um, and some leveling of land that occurred, as you saw in my previous drone footage. Nothing too exciting, but here are some shots of all the tree removal that has occurred over in the final part of Elpen Fury's ride. So as you see here, a lot of brush, a lot of pine trees, a lot of the smaller trees have been removed. It's quite sad. It looks very um, barren. And yeah, so definitely uh, it, it's going to be an eyesore for a bit, unfortunately. Um, a lot of the Christmas lights were just cut up, as you can see there. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's painful to definitely look at, um, especially when you are there in the park looking at this. It's it's just it, it the video doesn't do it justice. So it's it, it, these are some shots to try and show you the generalization. Um, to be honest, I'm going to try and grab a 0 0.5 shot. I missed getting that today. I would have loved to have a 0 0.5 shot of the pathway for you guys to show you um, the justification of this entire area so definitely crazy um but i i promise you or I, I shouldn't promise you no i do not promise you do not hold me to that i have a feeling it's gonna look okay once it's all done wonderland does do good with their newer stuff as well with theming and replanting and bringing the whole atmosphere together so i think yukon striker looks amazing i'm expecting something very similar in terms of you know laying down the appropriate foliage and theming so we'll have to to wait and see uh outside of that i'm trying to think of what else i need to show you um Oh, Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land. So over at Extreme Skyflyer, I completely forgot to insert those. Over at Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land, there has been tree removal as well, as you can see here, right next to that um, drink, uh, the, that, what do you call it, where you can purchase alcohol. Um, they removed those trees, those giant pine trees. Absolutely gorgeous. So sad there. They've worked on a lot more footings in this area. They are hard to spot with all this mounds of dirt in the area. So it's hard to show you everything. Um, and there's also a giant um, Halloween haunt stage there. But if you look here, there's a lot of rebar cages. And uh, as you can see there, some startings to the footings, the caissons right there. So that's really exciting. Um, they have worked a long time in this area, a lot longer than I thought they would have. But uh, accordingly, they are not behind schedule, even though to us who are, are used to Yukon, Behemoth, and Leviathan construction, they are on schedule. So th th it's a little hard to believe, um, but uh, they're on schedule. The garage door has been shut to Tunnel 2, the, um, the west side tunnel. Um, it is now closed. We can't see in there. Sad face, I know. Um, so yeah, nothing too much to report on Elpen Fury. There is no new track as of yet. Um, again, from my reporting, Amusement Insider's reporting, I am telling you guys um, that that track just started fabrication. Uh, so I know there's been things said elsewhere, even the park. Um, we had someone we know got a tour of the facility and they were just starting working on the track. We know those track pieces that we saw on that tour um, are the ones that arrived and they weren't painted when they were spotted. So I can tell you guys track has just started and it's being delivered as it's being made. So it is going to be a slow process. 
over here for Haunt. Now that we're going to head into our Haunt update, Cornstalkers looks to have a new entrance like I was predicting. I thought it was going to be vice versa that you were going to enter over um, on the other end and exit over here. It looks like you might actually enter here and exit where you normally exit and there'll be some sort of new setup for that. So that's interesting. We'll have to wait until Halloween Haunt to fully get an idea of that. Um, they're also setting up Trick or Treat. As you can see, it's stored there in the back area and they'll be moving it out into the actual trick or treat um, scare zone area. Um, trick or treat is actually one of my favorites, but I definitely like the one over by Time Warp the best. That is the best scare zone ever created at Wonderland. Um, but definitely second favorite is trick or treat. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I have to show you guys for Halloween Haunt. Um, give me a second. I think I forgot a couple of things. Right, I have to show you guys the merch. So over here, you can see um, those bats, those Squishmallow bats from last season are back. They are absolutely adorable. Um, I might actually have to grab myself one. I don't own actually any Squishmallows for rides anymore. I gave them to my niece um, and other people as well. But yeah, here's the Haunt merch. Um, to be honest, I wish we had one exciting um, piece of Haunt merch. Cedar Point does a really good job on that. But uh, these look really good. I really like that middle hoodie. Um, but yeah, uh, the boutique, the Halloween boutique will be in the same location it was previously. I really like that Halloween store as well. And there'll be a show for Halloween Haunt right here. Um, I like the backdrop. I like the setting. Not quite sure what this one's going to be. Um, it doesn't look like Day of the Dead. So I'll have to wait and see which one that is. Um, the giant pumpkin is all set up. The other show, um, The Hanging or whatever it's called. I'm totally mixing up the name. That's not the name of it. It will be in Medfair on that new, um, giant lighthouse. I love the front display. So here's the front display. Um, for Halloween Haunt. Uh, it is that beautiful mix of Halloween Haunt slash fall setup. I absolutely think this was the best thing the park ever did. It looks great. I love it. It reminds me of Dollywood with all that greenery and um, the colors. So one of my favorite things that they ever brought, I think they started this two or three years ago. Um, I could be wrong about that too. I believe it was after COVID that they started this, but let's not hold me accountable to that. <laughs> um, outside of that I don't think there's anything else to show you except a little bit of merch so I might actually just end the talking here um, I'm really excited about Demons of the Deep um, can't wait to show you guys that um, and yeah this is going to be a really busy week for me guys so if I am slow um, uploading uh, this week I, I will be uploading to Patreon uh, a couple of days this week. But if I am slow uploading to YouTube, we are working on some paid projects, um, a first for us. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we'll be checking out a few other parks while we're at it and uh, uh, attractions. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, really excited about this one. We're bringing some people um, through a haunted house and recording the reactions that don't do well in haunted houses, including myself. Um, so we're going to be experimenting with a few things as we, uh, do some pretty cool stuff that we haven't been able to do previously. Um, but we're starting to get ourselves, you know, a little more, uh, structure over here. We have a really good team and we've got, um, some level heads over here now and, uh, we got a lot to show you guys. So this is our week. Stay tuned guys. Bye.